everyone. Welcome to Webkul Odoo module tutorials. Today in this video, we will discuss the working of a module Odoo eLearning Marketplace. The module offers multiple great features to set up proper online class environment like you can launch your classes online in Odoo. Moreover, multiple teachers from worldwide can add their courses along with charges applicable. Student can simply pay what they want to study. Along with that, you have full right to approve or disapprove any course. Now let's see how the module works. As sellers in the marketplace, teachers are treated as sellers in this module. So we need to log in as a seller. Before creating a course, you need to create a product. Add the product name here. Select the website product category. Select the product type. Make sure that product type should be service type. We are creating this product so that we can use the price of this product to the course price. So set the price as you want to add the price to the course. Now click on the save button to save the changes. Now you need to click on the request to approve button so that a request is sent to the admin end. Now you need to log in as an admin to approve or disapprove this product. Now you need to go to seller dashboard and here click on the products and go to the non-approved products. Here you can see all the non-approved product. Select the product which you want to approve or disapprove. Click on the approve button if you want to approve the product or reject button if you want to reject it. Once you have approved the product, you can see the change in the state. Moreover, an option is also available now to publish the product on the website. If you reject the product, then you can see the change in the state and then that option is also removed from here. Now to create a course, you need to log in as a seller. However, you can also create a course as an admin also as admin has all the rights to create or approve any data. Now click on the e-learning tab and click on the non-approved courses. From here you can create a course or you can edit the existing one. Add the course title, select the tag or and click here to add the content. You can add the content title here. Select the content tag. Add the course. Set, set the duration of the course. Select the type of the content it is. Like I have added document here. Add the description. You can also set the external links and add the quiz after the content and check out the stats from here. To know how to create courses in Odoo 13, you can check out my previous video. The link of the video is added in the description box below. So you can add the description here. Set the option here. This is one of the most important part of creating this product. So set the course type 
whether it is documentation or training and now select the product for the course this product is selected to set the price of the course so i have selected the one we have created previously and save the changes from here click on the request to approve so that admin can approve or disapprove the product move to the e learning tab click on the non approved courses from here select the course you want to approve or disapprove now as an admin you can make any changes to the course and approve or reject the course as you wish now log in to the front end as a customer to check out how we can buy a course once logged in as a customer move to the courses tab here from here you can check out all the courses available select the course you want to study here you can check out the price of the course you can see you cannot open any of the course until and unless you buy it so let's click on it click on the process checkout and you can pay now you can check that sale order for the course is created successfully now let's move to the course back courses back again and check out the course that you have bought you can see that that course is, is under my courses section you can open it up and start reading the one you want i hope you love the tutorial video you can also check out the product link at the description box below moreover you can also contact our technical support team at support@webcool.com at